you think about which smart connected capabilities and features you might want to add to your products, it might help to think about the framework of the four categories of capability that we talked about in the article. First is monitor, which is the ability to know what's happening with the product, with its operation, and with its environment. Second would be control, to be able to control what the product's doing or how it's configured. The third category was optimize, the ability to change what the product's doing in light of these circumstances so that the product creates more value or generates more uptime or what have you. And then finally, the fourth category is to automate the product, to give the product the ability to do its own information processing and to make some of its own decisions about how to best react or optimize in different situations. If you think about these ideas, some of them might generate for you an operational efficiency. It might make it more efficient for you to sell the product or to service the product or to engineer the product. Some capabilities might generate a differentiation. It makes your product or your offering better than the competition and distinctly different. Some capabilities might generate new revenue streams. Maybe it's a service you sell with the product. Maybe it's new modules of capabilities you can introduce into the product even years after the product's been sold. And then finally, some capabilities might not create any value at all. And of course, that's what you want to be careful about because all of this stuff requires investment. So we think in the end, what you should focus on are those capabilities and those features that best reinforce your competitive positioning and help your company to create unique value and competitive advantage. Our recommendation is to get together some of the thought leaders and the stakeholders in the different parts of your company, maybe even your customers, and bring them together in an innovation workshop and to ask the questions, what if we knew what was going on? What if we could change the operation of the product? How would we use that in our business? And see what are the best ideas that bubble to the top of that type of a cross-functional process. Then I'd suggest you take these ideas and test them a little bit with the actual customers or end users who are supposed to get the benefit. And then finally, because talk is talk and, uh, and seeing something in action is very different, I really recommend a rapid prototyping or agile or scrum type of development process where you then develop a solution around the ideas you have and you show it to the end user or customer who should benefit from the idea and get their feedback and then go back and tweak the prototype a little bit and show it to them again. This is a quick way to get to an answer that works without spending too much time investing in solutions that later get rejected by the intended user. To learn more, I encourage you to download the HBR article or contact us on ptc.com.